the U.N. put out a pretty dire warning at the conference kickoff. Some of the gains made last year already being lost due to the war in Ukraine and a weaker global economy. What do you and Microsoft hope to achieve there? Well, the headwinds economically and globally around climate itself have obviously become even more serious. But the reality is digital technology, data, artificial intelligence probably remain the single most pervasive and potent tool that we can bring to address these issues. And that's why I'm here. That's why Microsoft is here. Um, we're sitting down, just walked out of a meeting with heads of state that I think capture this phenomenon. Everybody's worried about the need to adapt to climate change, floods, wildfires and the like. We have to pre predict these better. That's using the power of data and AI. A company like Microsoft actually plays a very important role. Right, and you and I talked recently at the Bill Gates Breakthrough Energy Summit about ESG and Microsoft's sustainability strategy. The first so-called pillar of that is getting your own house in order. How are you doing that, and what are the financial investments needed to do that? Well, I think every business is needing to make financial investments in getting their own house in order. 3,900 companies, public companies, have made climate pledges, and the world is watching. Regulators, especially in Europe, are going to be imposing more financial reporting requirements. And these are going to be important not just for companies that are based in Europe or on European exchanges, but say American companies that do business in Europe. What we've been doing at Microsoft is investing in reducing our carbon emissions. You know, everything from bringing renewable energy online for our data centers to moving from gas to electric kitchens. But again, at the end of the day, it really is about using data, technology, cloud computing. It's at the core because everything has to be measurable. It has to be measured. And that's what we do, including with our cloud for sustainability solution. So increasingly what we find is that we do have the solutions for the problems that people are wanting to address. Now, I know you're focused on climate this week, of course, but we can't ignore what's going on in the tech world today. Layoffs at Facebook, issues at Apple. Microsoft recently announced layoffs. Are you expecting more, and if so, how much, and in what areas? Well, I think for Microsoft, we, as we always are, are focused not only on how you enter a recession, but how you eventually exit it. And so what it really calls on, I think, a well-managed company to do is to assess all of its investments, especially in the engineering space, and ask, what are the fundamental technology drivers for the next quarter, the next year, and the next decade? So for us, we'll continue to invest in things like artificial intelligence, cloud computing, the fundamental drivers of technology for the decade ahead. Now, there may be days in a recession when a company has to trim other investments but I think the smart move is to trim those things where you can afford to do less so that you can then concentrate your resources on the fundamental sources of long-term value creation. That's how Microsoft has gone through every recession since we were founded in the 1970s. And if there's one thing that is clear this time, in a world of economic headwinds, actually the kind of technology we create it's not about advertising. It's not fundamentally about social media. What we are creating is the strongest tailwind for helping any business get through these headwinds. But is the current state of the U.S. economy making it harder to raise and spend money on climate initiatives and the clean energy transition? In some ways, the answer is yes, but in other ways, the answer is no. And I think you have to look at the global economy. There is a need for people to tighten their belts. There is a temptation to postpone certain initiatives, and especially in Europe, where there are high energy prices, you see these concerns sweeping throughout the economy. But at the end of the day, I think most businesses know that regulation is coming. They're going to need to report their results. They cannot really afford to go backwards.